On the street outside an Adventist church in Riga, Latvia, pedestrians often stop by a book house alongside the walkway. This small house contains a variety of free literature. Armands, who's once pastored this church and is now retired, makes sure that inventory stays stocked for local residents to enjoy. About a third of Latvia's population lives here in the capital city. The historical center is a UNESCO World Heritage Site noted for its architecture. In Riga, Adventists aren't afraid to try creative approaches to ministry, such as their book house. Valdis is a church member who uses his health food store as a place of connection with his community. Our goal for, uh, for Daba Stacia, that's the name of our business, it's like nature station, is uh, to be a bridge, bridge between uh, the street and the church. It's uh, very hard now in the secular country to, to go on the street and invite people to some events, to church or some concerts. But if you have connection with customers uh, and they little trust you, then they listen more and uh, they see that just because you are from church, you want them to bring in the church. Uh, they see that you wish them well, good health, each year, this store participates in a large vegan festival held in Riga. I have seen how God used a shop to bring some people closer to church. In the last festival, for example, I told our business, our shop, together with Adventist Church, in this place, Adventist Church gives place, and we organize this seminar. Would you be interested? Yes, I would be interested. And we get many contacts. Once people make contact with the church, they are invited to join a small group. This is an important aspect of growth within this community. Small groups uh, can do what uh, big church uh, gatherings can do. Uh, and I believe that we need uh, big worship gatherings and small gatherings in home where people can, can uh, get in some deeper level in, uh, in closer relationships. Zane's marriage was falling apart. She and her husband decided it was best to separate. Feeling overwhelmed, Zane looked online for a church in Riga and found the Adventist church. The members encouraged her to join a small group. The first time she attended, she sat at a table between total strangers, but felt so accepted and loved that after some time, she shared her problems with them and they lovingly offered to pray for her over time, she started to understand her husband better and recognized good qualities in him. This group helped her on her journey to forgiveness. After much prayer and Bible study, Zane was baptized. Now her family is back together and they are grateful to the small group that prayed for them. Thanks to the Adventist Church's presence in various forms, others have found community and healing through these small groups. This quarter, a portion of your 13th Sabbath offering will create a new urban center of influence to work together with the health food store in Riga. And uh, I envision that if, for example, uh, we would have some place we, where we could, could combine uh, maybe small shops, some small cafe, small place with books and a sofa, a very good atmosphere also with uh, some advertisements of our seminars and uh, health events. It would be much easier to get people uh, to these events. Please pray for this Urban Center of Influence project in Latvia. Thank you for supporting this special offering.